If you tell yourself, I can't do this, then why can't you say, I can do it? You need to be realistic about what your possibilities or your achievements can be. One thing that I've learned is that the brain can convince you of anything. At the end of the day, obviously, you have to look into what you're great. So say you say to me, well, you know what? I want to go in the NBA. I want to be able to dunk. I am only four feet, five inches. And I'll probably say to you, well, that's impossible. But you do know a lot about basketball. You do know a lot about the game. You do know a lot that can inspire other people to be great basketball players. So elevate your career in coaching. Allow to help other people. Physical attributes that prevent you from doing certain things, that can always be changed or altered or modified. That's very simple to do. Your brain, it's only hindering you because you're telling yourself you're hindering your, yourself. So if you tell yourself, I can't do this, then why can't you say, I can do it? It's only one letter different. You can convince your brain to tell you that you can do things. Put your mind together, be realistic, and then go above that. I'm not telling you to go to levels where it is impossible or quote unquote impossible, but baby steps will always get you there. Sometimes people, they want everything right away. They say, well, I want to be a billionaire tomorrow. Well, I also want to be a billionaire. Buy a lottery ticket, you may become a billionaire. But the chances of that happening, probably not really gonna happen. But if you say, you know, I want to be successful, I want to be wealthy, I want to be able to do this and this with whatever I have, well, let's take the steps to get there. What do you want to do that will get you there? I always tell people, if you go into your career to purely make money, you'll never be happy. Because at the end of the day, it's never enough money. It's like someone will always have a bigger house. Someone will always have a bigger boat. Someone will always have a nicer car. So if your number one goal is to just have the best car, the most money, the biggest home, you're never gonna achieve that. You're always gonna sort of be depressed or sad. But if you have a goal of what you want in your life and then push yourself that 10% more, why can't you do it? And then when you get to that 10%, you say, well, let's go up another 10%. Because you know how to do that. You know how to get to 100. Now, the question is, how do I get from 100 to 110? And that's when you need to deep dive, make sure you love what you do, you have passion for what you do, and you're ready for any hurricane that may come to your way.